How you doing? This is a cool little example of data visualization using Max MSP and routing this information to an LZX video synthesizer module. Uh, so in this example, I found uh, a JSON file of information from Texas death row inmates, and as you can see right here, and I'm pulling that into Max, and then taking the information as you can see here the last statements and then breaking them down into three different sections or three different planes and then unpacking each row as you can see right here and then running through them like a regular step sequencer as you can see right here um, and then what it's doing is being sent to three different waveform generators um, and how you can tell they're working is that one slider or at least one chunk of data is controlling the vertical red bars one of the sliders is controlling the horizontal blue bars as you can see they're continually scrolling and then one slider is controlling the width of the vertical green bars it's a little subtle at points but it shows you that any type of information which you can get on the internet, such as weather data or Texas death row inmate data or car sales data, anything like that can be used as a control module for an LZX video synthesizer. I'm routing this information to the synthesizer using an Arduino, that a custom Arduino interface I built that I call Blue CB, which control or allows the user to send information from Max MSP like this through a serial port to an Arduino and then out through the pulse with modulation pins, which is then routed to a 12-bit DAC, and then finally to the waveform generator. So as you can see, you know this is all randomized right now to give you a better idea of how this would work and as you can see you can get some pretty interesting patterns um, granted this is a pretty basic pattern but I thought this would be easiest to understand that it is continually working so yeah this is the type of stuff I love to do thanks for watching